This is a short descriptive video about a JC Penny FMAM calendar digital clock radio and of course it is a flip clock and um, when I came across this clock I recognized the clockwork that was in it instantly albeit it is a slightly different version of it. This is the clockwork that stems from the Copal um, flip clock model 707 with the day date version um, let's say the upgraded version of the 601 and the 602 and uh, I was right I uh, purchased this clock and when I got it in I opened it up and there is a Copal clockwork in there and it is essentially the model 707 clockwork albeit the controls are slightly different in the 707 all the controls are at the bottom of the clock here is the setting of the time and here is the um, setting of the alarm and the day date are yes at the bottom of the clock where they are with the 707 as well and the main difference of course is that this is not a Copal clock it's a JC Penny clock it's a model 3765 and it has a, an AM FM radio and I just really liked the look of this clock plus the fact that it is the, actually the only or the first clock that I ever came across that also uses the model 707 from Copal, the clockwork and just for that reason alone I had to have it uh, but it looked really good uh, I liked the, really like the looks of the clock but it also cosmetically it looked really good and um, so I decided to buy it Another quirky fact is that here in the radio display there's a small opening where you can see the flywheel of the clock. It's actually spinning. Uh, well, of course it's spinning, but you can see it spinning. And um, so the day-date version, uh, the day-date adjustments are here. And this is an American clock, so it needs 110 10 volts and 60 hertz. Um, or yeah, you can use a, a, an expensive adapter if you want to use it in Europe or in Australia or anywhere else where you don't have 110 volt 60 Hertz um, so let me see here we adjust the alarm uh, let me just turn on the alarm for example and um, There you go. Quite loud, but this is your normal alarm sound that you would have with most flip radio alarm clocks from the 70s. Um, uh, let's turn it off. And let me see. Right. This is the radio. I don't have a lot of reception in this part of the house. So let's see if I can get something on the. No, I got something, but not much. So, but that's just uh, this part of the house. When I go higher or elsewhere in the house, I do get um, some sort of reception. The, the radio is actually working just fine. Let's turn it off. Here's the sleep function. Yep. There you go. Just turn it off. So you can um, set the alarm to the buzzer, you can set the alarm to the radio, you can just listen to the radio and uh, AM, FM of course, tuning, volume, there's a switch for music and soft, I think soft is probably when you're listening to some um, people talking on the radio, not so much music, I'm not really sure what that is intended for and here's a knob interestingly enough on the top where you set the time and it is a 12 hour clock being an american clock uh, as i said cosmetically it's in a really good condition i took it completely apart i lubricated and cleaned everything that needed to be cleaned got a new cable new plug um, the front glass was taken off and cleaned and um, the speaker was cleaned it's working just fine the original speaker and yeah, what more can I say about it? 110 volts, 60 hertz, so for use in America, in the US. And um, it is big, it is chunky, 
and it looks really really good let me just show it from the side there you can see the pictures in my shop because this clock will be for sale of course there's a headphone jack I forgot about that and um, yeah I think that's about it so any questions let me know and as I said this clock will be for sale in my shop and that's it thank you for watching